court to handle. Air Rufoy accuses Obi supporter of reporting his Twitter account. <laughs> this is very, very interesting. The news in detail. Nasiru Air Rufai, governor of Kaduna, says his Twitter account has been reported by a supporter of Peter Obi, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP. Earlier, Erify had mocked a plan by Obi's supporters to hold a two million man match for the Labour Party presidential candidate in Kaduna. The Kaduna governor, in a tweet, had said he hoped the LP supporters get up to 200 people on the streets of Kaduna for the match. I hope you get 200 persons on the streets including those imports that can't open their shops on Mondays and came on overnight bus last night. I just they laugh. Well, it's a lie, he had said. Hmm. Now, wow. It's in done serious. Begin on we are already. Erufai's comment had sparked reactions on social media, with many accusing him of bigotry and being insensitive. A few hours later, the Kaduna governor in another tweet said his Twitter account was reported by one of Obi's supporters in Germany. He accused the obedience of being desperate and disagreeable. The desperation of so-called obedience knows no bounds. They insult everyone they disagree with, but cannot accept that some find disagreeable and have opinions too. He tweeted, one of them in Germany found my tweet too hot to handle. I still they laugh. Hmm. Oh, uh, make this one day here and I may pants they wear. Hmm. He doesn't know that this is more serious. You should just face what is happening, please. Eh? And stop all these jamborees that is displaying. Huh. Meanwhile, Nigerians reacted to this post. Let's check what they have. Okay, the first one I have here says, Now so them be very rude set of people, no decorum. Now I can affirm that this man is a crab. Hey, wait. They are desperate because Obi will stop the killings in Kaduna and every other state. Mm, let's hope so. Dear obedient, this negative use of words is unnecessary. Mm. Obedience must maintain decorum, an international approved standard of communication, like Peter Obi does always. Yes, most times it's not about the candidates, it's about the people supporting. The way they go about it, most people, they go about it in a violent way verbally abusing people that are not in support of their candidates meanwhile it will never help us i think we should just go about it the way the candidate is going about it he's not causing any problem he's not causing any trouble but yeah some supporters are, are really wreaking havoc they are not smiling at all their comments at times are not even smiling hmm but then We'll continue to support the right person. Okay, another comment says, The man who just wrote to the president crying that there is a parallel government in his state has the time, has the time to throw jabs instead of looking for the solution to his enormous problem. Your job is to provide security for them, period. Okay, another person says, He is a good Nigerian that wants his country back. It's all right. Erufai, or whatever your name is, you are one of those useless politicians that, that has sworn that masses of his country will not see peace. Wow, interesting. Hmm. Okay, I have another comment here that says, I wish these so-called politicians can be walking alone on the streets. So many, so many of them would have been stupid. Look at this devil that deserves death. Oh no, this is so harsh. While I would say that it is not civil to insult people, I also want everyone to know that insultive supporters are better than those who imported bandits to Nigeria. Well, for those people that imported bandits to Nigeria, I think those people are cowards. Yes, they are. 
They cannot come out openly to exact whatever it is they have in mind. They're just going backwards, collecting money from, from their supporters that we don't even know. Supporters a mask. I just pray that this coming government will unmask all the supporters of terrorism in Nigeria. Okay, on this note, I must say a very big thank you for listening to us. Please, don't forget to drop your comments and also subscribe and click on the like button. Thank you once again for listening.